this lesson will teach you how to sustain lip vibration without a didgeridoo. So essentially be able to play and practice didgeridoo without needing a didgeridoo to do so. Um, this is like training to be able to play the full range of multi-drone notes. And I'll also teach you how to circular breathe without a didge and sustain the vibration with your lips the whole time. Alright, so once you get this technique down, you will no longer need, I call it moving beyond back pressure because once you have this technique down, you don't need to rely upon a didge with high back pressure to play a fast drone rhythm. So back pressure still plays its own role in being able to transfer up into the trumpet range, but as far as playing a fast rhythm with a drone, you can, sustain, you can hold the, the, the pressure with your lips so that you don't need a, like a fast didge to play fast rhythms inside of the drone. For example, you know, on and on. You're, you're, you're creating the strength in your lips to be able to do what the didge allows you to do, but you're doing it yourself. So, if you imagine, um, well first try blowing out your lips. This is, this is kind of like the basics of learning the, the, the drop octave technique. Blow out your lips, and then smile as you're doing that. So if you imagine a, a rubber band, if you were to like take a rubber band and hold it loosely between your fingers and then flick it, it would just kind of stop vibrating immediately. But if you pull it a little tighter and then you flick it, it's gonna have that vibration like, like a guitar string. So same thing with your lips. If you just kind of blow out with them loose, that vibration wants to stop really quick. But if you tighten the rubber band, smile, tighten your lips out, you're gonna create that that tension that allows your lips to vibrate on their own. So that's that's the beginning. The the next part is to be able to do different pitches with it. So just be able to the harder you blow, the more you want to smile and the more pressure you want to put from your top lip to your bottom lip like this way. So like the the harder I blow and put that pressure, the higher the pitch is going to go. The lower and less pressure, the lower the pitch is going to go. Let my 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 tension's going to get tighter as I go up into the higher range. So to make this easier, um, this is a technique I learned from William Barton, and and I originally saw him beatboxing, just messing around one night, like. And make make a an O. This is your this is your mouthpiece, your dig mouthpiece. And like start with an O, like finger to thumb. Put it on your mouth upside down like this, not like this, because your nose is going to be blocked. So reverse, like so your nails are facing the sky, like this, and then close it up around your mouth so it's it's the size of like your whole mouth. Not any like bigger or not any really smaller like a normal dig mouthpiece, but like your whole mouth. So your lips have full range of motion. And then you cup your other hand on top of this. And this gives you a back pressure that a normal dig would give you. So when, you're, when, you're, when your hands are cupped like this, air, air isn't allowed to come out. So it gives you that back pressure that a dig would give you. So it kind of feels a little more natural at first to be able to do that. And it also, that back pressure makes it easier to swim around inside of the different notes you can make with your lips on their own. So you want to warm up your lips before attempting to go that low with them because they're, they'll probably just stop vibrating instantly. And if you notice like you go and your lips keep stopping, like, like, like if you're trying it through the, well actually don't even worry about the dig, but if, you're, if your lips stop it's because you're not like smiling enough as you do it or like the combination of putting that stretch and pushing harder at the same time. If you're not doing one of those two things, your lips will just stop. So if you're noticing that, either put more pressure from your diaphragm to push more air out, or um, more tightness in your in your cheeks or in your yeah in your smile. So to to expand more upon uh, playing with this, just practice going all like practice playing like a, a tune in your head or anything with with this method. <laughs> And, you know, anything. You 
you know, mess around, have some fun. And your lips will, over time, develop the strength to be able to play whatever you want. So when you get onto a dig that's built for the multi-drone, you'll be able to find all of those um, extra pitches a lot easier because they don't, they all come from here. Everything comes from your own sustained vibration. The dig doesn't really allow for it naturally. So if you can do it even without the dig, you're light years ahead of like once you actually get it with the dig to being able to just do it with a lot of power. Um, the next step with this is circular breathing because obviously you're gonna, you're gonna lose your air pretty quickly and so in the beginning you want to practice just trying to sustain a vibration with your lips for as long as possible with as little air as possible before you even think about circular breathing so that'll sound like and this is going to be the the vibration for all of this is going to be like a hard punchy punchy you feel a vibration on your face it's not like a tight dig drone which is like like up there, that's like the normal dig drone. It's like lower. So try to see how long you can sustain it. Stretch out your lips, open your mouth, get everything loosened up because like in the morning you'll notice you won't be able to do this technique at all because your lips are so tight. Um, so sustain it for as long as possible. So to circular breathe on it, watch the video on bounce breathing if you don't already know how to bounce breathe. But it's kind of a combination of bounce breathing, jaw movement, and smiling at the same time. So this is a pretty complicated thing, but I'll give you as much as I can. As you're, as you're blowing out, try to smile and speed up your lips a little bit. And at the same time, close your jaw a little bit. So like, this is my jaw closing a little bit as I'm... Not so much my jaw as just my lips coming together a little bit more with a little bit more pressure to speed up the airflow. So if you push air out like you're bounce breathing, like a, like, a, like a slight surge, and then you do this jaw up and smile at the same time, you can control, you can keep your lips vibrating enough to get a quick breath. So. Now this will probably take you a lot of practice to be able to get that kind of control to be able to keep it consistent with the breath. It's not, it's not an easy thing at all. It's a lot of just practicing getting your lips to be able to sustain any tone you want. So you should first be able to like sustain like any of those tones that you want to hear from your head. You should be able to sustain those comfortably on your lips before you'll be able to actually circular breathe on them. So again, with this technique, So once you have this technique down, you can see that even on the largest bore instrument, you could play a fast drone rhythm, like the fastest thing you can imagine, because you can do it without a dig. On and on. Just that all, all that power is gonna be completely sustained by you. So on a, on a large bore instrument, like if you want to get really good clear vocals but you you're not able to play as fast this technique is going to help just even with normal playing on a large bore instrument to be able to play a fast drone rhythm and not be held back like if you if you listen to some recordings of William Barton keep in mind that he's playing on an instrument that's got a, a bore that's about two inches wide and his mouthpiece itself is about an inch and a half or larger and it's just because he's able to sustain all the vibration himself with his lips 